Hey, good morning, girls. I hope you are all doing good. I had several people to ask me if I would do a tutorial on how I decorate up my Dollar Tree stickers. Okay, that's what I'm going to do today. Now, I've already got out a lot of my stickles that I use. I've got out some glitter. I have got out my glitter glue. Now, I use the Art Glitter Glue. It dries clear. But, for these delicate products, I've got to have that fine tip. So, I use it. If you're good with a paintbrush, you can paint it on, but I'm not. Now, I also got my diamond dust out. My tray. This is a recollections tray. When you get through, all you have to do is unplug it and just drop it all back in your bottle. And I always keep a spoon to uh, do my diamond dust with. All right. Let's get started on this and let me show you how I do it. Okay. Your stickers, you can always see where the edge of your stickers are so you know what you're, you know, working in, what area and space. Let me make sure everything's good. Okay. The first thing I do, though, before I ever do diamond dust, I just start with my stickles. And stickles are glitter glue. Um, you can use either one of the art glitter glue that is, um, hang on, let me show you. I use this sometimes. And it's just, you know, art glitter glue. It will dry, and it'll dry clear. So, you know, or whatever color you're using. I've got it in every color. But it's a little cheaper than just stickles. So, that's, you know, it's according to what colors I need where I can find it in the stickles or if I need to go somewhere else. Now, this project that I do here, I work mainly in the glitter stickles. I do have the pearl. And some things you need the pearl on and some things you don't. But the pearls are really nice to do your dots and let them dry like little pearls. It, it takes the place of enamel dots. That is all it's doing. So, you know, you can use it for several things. All right. I'm looking at this, and I've got a lot of yellow, purple, green, and the clear to make the glass conch. Okay, and then the bicycle flower basket. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Let's start with the yellow first. I got my stickles. And y'all, I do not make tutorials. This is the reason, because I'm kind of a slow painter-like, I guess. But I just take it and kind of paint with the tip. Now, a lot of people pour it out and paint with paintbrush. I can't do that with this. With this, I do the tips. It's easier for me to get in the areas I need and not direction it. Okay. I'm not going to do every piece. I just want to kind of show you on the two pieces how I do it. And then that way you can go from there. Okay. This on top of the yellow is just giving it that pretty little sparkle. And the yellow is still going to show through. But it just makes it... Like I said, you use it just like you're painting. Same way you're going to do your glitter pens and things like that. Just like you're painting with them. Okay. And this one's got a little bit more yellow here. Okay. Now that's the top side of that sticker. It takes a little bit of time and effort, but it makes a project just pop. Go down here. Okay. You can already see the difference. Let's see. Let me. Yeah. You can already see the difference there. Okay. Now, I've got light purple and dark purple. So, I'm going to do the dark purple on this one first. Just like your painting. And you can do as much of one of these or as little as you want. It doesn't matter. It just, like I said, it gives it some serious uplifting sparkle. And I absolutely adore making pretty things prettier. That's just, you know, 
doing the things I absolutely adore doing. Okay, so that's the dark purple. Now, let's see, let's go back with the light. And I say purple, it's, it's more of a light, it's a pinkish purple. But, and I always work from top to bottom, that way you're not putting your hands over what you've already done. Okay, there it is with the pink. I hope you can see these. I might need to cut that way down there. But you see how seriously that has added so much to it. All right, now I'm going to go where the white flowers are. Y'all, I'm usually very quiet when I'm concentrating, so like I said, it's hard for me to make tutorials because I'm pretty basically a quiet person at times. I run my mouth when somebody's around, but I'm pretty quiet. Okay. I'm going to take the green. Now, I want to add just a little bit of something to a couple of these leaves. And on these, they're so small that mainly what I do is just kind of hit it. Because I don't want it to be overly done. I just want it to be pretty. Okay. And I think that's enough for the green on that. Okay, now I'm going to go to the lighter green for up here on these two leaves that kind of stick up and try to keep it in the area that you're going to be peeling. Now, let's see what else I want to do here. Hmm. Maybe hit a couple little pieces over here. You're just following along the lines of the design. You just want to add a little oomph to it. Okay. And this has got a, a little piece of uh, bow wrapping all this up. So, what I'm going to do there, I think I'll do it in the yellow because then the bow color will still come through too. Come on. Okay. So, there it is, all stickled up. You can see that, I hope. Whoop, there you go. All stickled up. Okay, now, this I didn't need no diamond dust on. This and this I want to use diamond dust on, so I'm going to show you right quick how I'm doing that. Okay. This is my designer glue, the art glitter glue. I'm going to trace this fine tip over the letters. I just want to see it. If you go with paintbrush, great. Because when I paint, I'm pretty messy. But on this little stuff, no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't see it good enough to paint it. Okay. Now, you see that? Okay. Then, what I'm going to do now is I take it and just make sure all that lettering is covered. And this is how I do mine. Okay, now you see the diamond dust. And when it dries, there'll be no more white there except for what was on the sticker. 
and it will dry clear. So now on top of that, since I've got the diamond dust on there, and I usually do this first, but I forgot. I'm going to go and just hit these leaves with a little sparkle. Like I said, you just paint in the lines, just like you're coloring. Just pretend like you're coloring, but you're using a different, um, not crayons, but, you know, different appliques. All right, now this is glass. When I want to make this look like it is glass and it's glittery, what I'm going to do is come here. I'm going to outline that little hit there. And right here, now remember, this glue is going to dry clear. I want it to look like glass, so I'm just going to come and kind of paint me some areas here. And then, let me glitter it up a little bit. Now, when that dries, the white will be gone and all you're going to have left is the glass glittering and that is perfect is perfect and y'all if i get anything on my table don't wipe your hands now that will hurt it ain't gonna kill you but it hurt and you might get a piece of glass embedded so what i do is take a wet one and just wipe it you know real good and get all the glass try to off i still have pieces of glass everywhere so anyway that is it, girls. That is my little tutorial of how you can do the adding uh, stickles or art glitter glue. or and, and you can take your own glitter. Um, let me show you that. I guess I need to do that one. Okay. Let me, uh, let me go right here. Now, remember, the white is going to dry clear. So, I'm only going to put this where I really want it to stick. And you would usually make sure all this is dry before you do this. This is a uh, fine glitter. This is gold ultra fine. Okay. All I'm going to do here. Add a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and blow it off. And there you go. I hope you can see this, and I hope I, you know, you can understand the tutorial. This is the way I do it, and uh, like I said, I, you know, use so many different techniques. Um, your pens. Uh, we got these at Michaels. They were like three ninety nine, but they're paint glitter pens. So when you're using your pens, let's see, there's a purple. Let me. You're gonna shake it down. I haven't used these so. These are newer ones. Let me. Okay. There it is. See? It's coming out. Okay. Then, all you're going to do is kind of hit it. If you want to just go around the edges, just go around the edges. That's a little bit of purple in there. So, like I said, you just, you're using these exactly like you would a crayon. And let's see, oh, there's a yellow, yeah. And you always shake them up. That'll start them flowing because you have to do this and stick them up and down to get it flowing. See, there's your yellow. Okay. Let's see. So it don't matter what you're using as long as you are hitting the color to match you know or if you want to change colors heck sometimes i just change the colors so it don't really matter as long as you're kind of staying in the lines so there's your color all right that's it that's it that is the only tutorial you know <laughs> you're going to get from me for the next while okay I love you all. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Hugs, love, and kisses, and God bless you. Bye, babies.